Hi there guys, I'm Lay, like what a chicken does to an egg, from Kaon. Today, we're going to be fitting the Hilux N80 diff drop. So the reason we install a diff drop kit into the car is this car's been lifted two inches with a Dobson's lift kit and you can see the CV angles here are quite severe. When you go off road and the car's bouncing around and the suspension's at, it, at its limits, you can actually break the CVs and the diff gears and that's not a good scenario when you're out in the bush. So here you can see the diff is in this position. So what our diff drop is gonna do is actually lower the diff down to make the CV angles much less severe and make it much safer to go off-road. So this is a complete replacement arm diff drop. You can see that each bracket has been replaced and it's really obvious how much diff drop uh, we're getting out by looking at the longest bracket here. Uh, we've shifted the angle to drop the diff, which you just can't get that sort of drop with a spacer style diff drop. So first step of the diff drop installation is loosening off the bolts for the two arms. 19 mil here. So now this fella here is a 22 mil on the bottom and a 19 on the top there. So we're just going to loosen off the 12mm uh, bolt here, 12mm allen key, which holds the rear, rear bracket on. And then loosen off the two 17mm bolts, one on the top and one on the bottom here. What we want to do to access this bolt here is we want to jack up the bracket. See if we can wedge something in there to give us better access to the bolt. So what we've got set up here is we've got a bit of timber on a jack. Um, if you're doing this under the car, just use a trolley jack to lift up the diff. We're going to lift up the diff and we're going to remove the rear bracket. So now we're going to jack up the diff, give us some clearance to remove the rear bracket. Alright, so there are the three brackets removed. So before we install our brackets, we're going to put some lithium grease on the bushings and that will help stop any squeaking. And we'll just repeat that four times. So once you've installed your four bushings in your brackets, we're going to install these supplied bushings. Again, put a bit of grease on there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the bush and the bolt from the original OEM part and reinstall it into the new k on diff drop bracket. You'll need a piece of wood which is about 30mm thick and we're going to put the washer and the bracket there. So now we're just going to tap it out of there. Remove the bolt and the washer. 
So now we're going to remove the bush that sits inside the rubber bushing. I'm using a 16mm uh, punch, but you can use a socket. So now we're going to reinstall the bushings and all the hardware back into the k bracket. We put our press our bushing back in there. So nice firm fit. And our bush goes back in like so. I'll put our pin back in there and our washer. Now get a, I've got a 27mm socket, but any socket which fits nicely in here and has enough room inside the socket for the bolt will go in there like so. Just press it back on until it stops. If you don't have a vise, you can put the socket on something solid like the concrete floor or something like that. Put that in place, hold it, and you can tap it in with a hammer, like so. That's completely acceptable as well. When you drop the diff, we need to replace this factory hose with the supplied longer hose. So just remove it from here and up the top. Use the supplied hose, it goes back in through the top onto the factory line there and then back on to the bottom like so. So now we're going to install the rear bracket. We've got the diff jacked up and what we're going to do is we're just going to push up the drive shaft here to give us a bit more room. Slide him in. There he is there. I'm going to put all the bolts in. started. Now if you've got someone who's got little hands, now's a good time to ask them for a favour. Alright, so we'll just leave these a touch loose and then we'll install the front mounts. So what we've done now is we've dropped the diff about 35mm and that will line up all the bolts uh, bolt holes and brackets for the installation of the two front brackets. So we'll put, all, we'll put these three bolts in finger tight for the moment. Oh, there you go. Bit of manpower will do it. So everything just finger tight so you can still have everything moving around nicely. loosely put that on it's pretty much in the right place at the moment the nut on there oh. looking pretty sexy so now we're going to install the longer bracket with the uh, nice sexy diff drop there that is what that angle there is what gives our diff drop the big advantage over your standard spacer style diff drops I'm sure they got tools for this, you know. Here's one I prepared earlier. Put the long bolt in. All right, so the whole diff drop is now loosely installed. We can drop the jack. The last bolt we have is the uh, 12 mil Allen key in there. So now we just have to go through and double uh, tighten up all the bolts, double check everything, and your diff drop is installed. Rock and roll, here we go. Yeah! 
So diff drops installed and we're just measuring how much it's actually dropped the diff. It's actually dropped the diff by exactly 30 millimeters and that's definitely improved the CV uh, angles. I'll give her a bit of a clean. That's the diff drop installed. Now we can roll a bit of gratuitous B-roll to show our N80 diff drop.